My name is Bill Green, and I'm the Youth Program Coordinator for Blind Service Association. For over 20 years now, Blind Service Association has had a summer youth program called Pathways for blind and visually impaired students all over Chicago. It's a tremendous program that gives blind and visually impaired students the opportunity for six weeks to practice daily living skills, performing arts, and other events and activities all over the city. For example, in 2015, we had students going to judo classes, seeing plays with touch tours, bowling, sailing, triathlons. They also worked with artists that do sound and smell. Uh, they did a found art project at the Intuit Art Museum. Um, and it was tremendous opportunities like that all over the city, along with performing arts at the Cultural Center, where they sang, danced, uh, did improvisation. But one of the most important things we do with Pathways is twice a week, we have a vision teacher that does daily living skills with the students. There are other programs in Chicago area and in the region that uh, blind and visually impaired students can go to in the summer. So many of them, though, do lack those daily living skills. They're just about going out and doing uh, a fun activity. And those are great. They're, they do have a place, um, but it doesn't provide the supplement to the education that students are not getting anymore in schools, which is a huge part of what we do with our daily living skills, is to supplement that education and give them that facility where they have a kitchen every day, they make their own meals, they plan their menus, they budget for what they need, go to the grocery store, buy all the items, come back and prepare them. And I think that's one reason that our program has been more successful than other programs. Um, we're, we're, like I said, going on 20 plus years and we've always been able to have a great group of students come uh, and we've had parents who greatly appreciate what the program does. It, it's just simply things that are popular, things that are, their friends are doing are not always accessible to them. Uh, and it makes them left out even just in that way. So you, you then had someone who was also making fun of you for that. that further ostracizes you from the group. And that's something that is, is really troubling to see a, a student who, because of their visual impairment, in any way has been isolated or separated from other people. One of the things that Blind Service Association Pathways always need is support from people uh, in the community. Um, we're always looking for volunteers for our tag days that we do in April. It's a big program that we do where we send hundreds of volunteers throughout the city and the suburbs. And for a couple of days in April, they ask everybody to please donate to support Pathways and support our kids. Uh, we spend over $3,000 a summer on the students. And all of that cost is free to the parents and free to the kids. We have a very small application fee, but everything that we do is free to parents and free to kids. Um, and we're very proud of that. We want to be able to continue that. So anyone who's interested in supporting uh, Pathways and wants to know more about it can contact me, Bill Green, uh, I guess at, at bgreen at blindserviceassociation.org uh, is my email. And hopefully join us for Tag Days in April 2016.